Hi friends. So in this video, I'm going to explain resistance thermometer and I'm going to solve four questions under it. Now, I told you guys that there is a relationship between the resistance and also its temperature. That is, there is a the relation the there is a proportional proportionally direct relationship between the um, resistance of a metallic conductor and its temperature. So because there is a corresponding relationship between the resistance and also the temperature. So we can actually apply the same procedure that we used to solve the conversion of temperature scales. The, the, the method I use, we can actually apply it to this. We can actually apply it on resistance thermometer. So that we can, we can use the same procedure and also the method, the steps to solve the question of the resistance and also the resistance thermometer. So now if you take a look at all this question, I'm having at least four questions here. So if you take a look at this question, we are going to solve them in a way and in the way we solve the other one those one that's liquid in gas thermometer and also the conversion of temperature scales from one from one um scales around that conversion of temperature from one scale to another conversion of kelvin to celsius and um celsius to fahrenheit now if you take a look at the first question i'm having here the question is a resistance thermometer has a resistance of 10 ohms at zero degree c and 70 ohms at 100 degree c if it records 55 ohms in a certain medium, calculate the temperature of the medium. If you look at this, the first thing we need to do is just to highlight or we should take a look for, we should look for the two scale the question is talking about. This scale is actually talking about the resistance scale and also the, the Celsius degree scale. Now, um, at zero degree C, that indicates the lower fixed point of a Celsius degree scale. But at um, 100 degrees C, that's indicate the upper face point, which is also known as the steam point of the Celsius degree C. Now, comparing the two temperature, the two temperature scales, I will have my words. My let me just say this is for what, for the resistance. The resistance is at 10 ohms at zero degrees C. That means the lower face point of the resistance scale with the will be 10 ohms, and the upper will be, what, will be 70 ohms. Then the same thing with goes with the Celsius, the upper face point is what 100 degrees C, which is this, and the lower face point is what 0 degrees C. So now let if you read the question again, the question says if the if it records 55 ohms in a certain medium, that is if our resistance thermometer, resistance scale record 55, then from 10 to 70, in between 10 and 70, we have what we have 55 ohms. That means I'm going to place it here. 55 ohms. So in between the both, then we are going to compare both the scales together because we are asked to calculate the temperature of the medium, the temperature in degree C of the medium. Now, using the same procedure, if you look at this, I'll take the one at the middle, that's 55 ohms. Surprise from the lower face point, that's 10 ohms. Divided by what? The upper face point, 70 ohms. Surprise from the lower face point, which is what? 10 ohms. Then you equate it with the, with the Celsius scale because here we are asked to solve for S. Since we have to compare this, so in this case, you take the words the x subtract from what zero degree C divided by what one hundred degree C minus what zero degree C. Then I can just do some simple um simplification here. Fifty five ohms minus ten ohms will give me what forty five ohms. Then seventy ohms minus ten ohms will give me what sixty ohms. Then you get it to what x divided by hundred degree C. Then the next thing is just for us to cross multiply, but before that, the resistance we cancel each other. Then cross the multiply, we have what we have 45 into bracket 100 degree C is equal to what 60x, right? Then let's just take it here. So I'm having 45 multiplied by 100, that will give me what 45 degree C equals to 60x. Can you see it now? So I can divide both sides by 60. Divide both sides by 60. Let's see what's going to be my answer. The Bible side was by 60 now. So, yeah, this cancel this. Then my x equals to 0, we cancel 1 here. I'm having 450 degrees C divided by what? 6. So, uh, 450 degrees C divided by 6. Let's see what's this. The answer that would be 450 divided by 6. So, that's giving me that what? 75. So, I'm having my x to be equal to what? 75 degrees C. That's just the answer to the first one. Now, let's move to the second one. The second one in this case, the question is a platinum resistance thermometer records a resistance of 4 ohms at 32 degree Fahrenheit. In this case, the, scale is, the, the question is talking about two scales. The first one is the Fahrenheit and the second one is what? Is the, is the ohms. 
which is our resistance. Now comparing the two scales now, I will have my upper face point of the resistance to be what to be two to be ten ohms. Can you see it now? And my lower face point to be what to be that's four ohms. And on the right hand side, I'm ha on the far right rather side, I will have what thirty two degree Fahrenheit as my lower face point and my two one two hundred and twelve degree Fahrenheit as the what upper face point. Now the question says. If resistance change uniformly with temperature, what is the resistance of the thermometer when the temperature is what, 75 degrees C? Now, when this increases to, what, to 75 degrees C, what is going to be my what? Degree variance. What is going to be my what? My resistance thermometer scale. So, let's just call it X. Then, following the same procedure, we are going to follow the same procedure. So, we have what? X minus what? 4 ohms. Divided by what? 10 ohms minus what? 4 ohms. Very good. Which is equal to what that should give us 75 degree Fahrenheit subtract from 32 degree Fahrenheit or divided by what 212 degree Fahrenheit minus 32 degree Fahrenheit. So you can just do this, you can just do this for that simplification here 75 minus 32 is what that's for the theory. So you're having x minus what 4 ohms divided by that was 6 ohms equals to what 43 degree Fahrenheit divided by this should give us 180 degree Fahrenheit. 180 degree Fahrenheit. Degree Fahrenheit cancel degree Fahrenheit. Let's go down cross and fly. We are having what we are having 180 into bracket x minus what 4 ohms, right? Equals to that's 6 ohms multiplied by 43, right? So let's go ahead and do some simplification here. So this one should give us 180x minus what minus um that will be 180 multiplied by 4 ohms. Equals to this should give us six times of three should give us two fifty eight, yeah two fifty eight ohms. So let's go ahead and multiply this. That's one eighty multiply four. That should give us seven twenty. So I'm having one eighty x minus seven twenty ohms equals what two fifty eight ohms. Now in this case now collecting the like times I'm having one eighty x equals to two fifty eight two fifty eight ohms plus what seven twenty ohms right plus two fifty eight. That's yours, what that's 978. 180s equals what 978 ohms, right? So I can actually divide both sides by 180. Divide both sides by 180 ohms. Let's see what's the answer. So my S in this case is actually that's um, my that will be 978 divided by that's 180. What's the answer? That's 5.43 ohms. So our answer in this case is what our S in this case is actually what. 5.43 ohms. Very good. Now let's move to the next question I'm having here. The question is the lower face point of an upper of an upper face point of the resistance thermometer are what 0 0.5 ohms and also what 3.5 watts ohms. So then respectively, if it records if it records 2.5 ohms in a certain environment. What is the temperature of the medium in Kelvin? Now we are asked to we are we are asked to relate all this in Kelvin. And if you look at this very well, we are not given anything in Kelvin, but it if you look at this, we should be able to solve it. The lower face point and upper face point of the resistance are this is the lower face point and also what upper of the resistance. Let's do that one first. So in this case, we are having the upper to what 3.5 ohms, and we are having the lower to be what 0 0.5 ohms. Can you see this down? And our Kelvin, we know that the, for Kelvin, the upper face point is what? The upper face point of the Kelvin is actually 373 Kelvin. And the lower face point is what? 273 Kelvin. Can you see this now? So, here yeah, we are having its record. If it's record, if it's record 2.5 ohms, now here yeah, we actually have, have 2.5 ohms. Can you see this now? So, comparing the what EM, the scales together, let's just call this place X. Show that we are going to have what? We are going to have 2.5 ohms minus 0 0.5 ohms. All divided by 3.5 ohms. Then minus what? 0 0.5 watt ohms. Then equates it to what? To, that will be this with what? X minus 273 Kelvin. Divided by what? 373 Kelvin minus what? 273 Kelvin. Can you see this now? So let's just go do some simplification here. Here we should have something like 2.0 ohms. 2.0 ohms divided by what? This should give us... Um, is it not? Is that, yeah, it's actually 2.0 now. That's 3.5 minus what? 0.5. That's 2.0 now. 
okay, it's still with 3.0 ohms. So equals to root. That's x minus 273 Kelvin divided by this minus this gives us 100 Kelvin. Right? So this will cancel this. You can go ahead and cross on the five. Check out if you cross on the let's see what we have. We have in two points that's 200 Kelvin equals to what? 3x minus. I've opened the bracket directly. That's 3 multiplied by what? 273. It's 19. Minus what? 819 Kelvin. Can see this down. Just open the bracket. 3 multiplied by this will give us 3x. This and this will give us what? This. So I'm go ahead and collect the like time. So that if you have what? You have 3x equals to what? 819 Kelvin plus what? 200 Kelvin. Can see it now? So 819 plus 200 Kelvin. That actually was 3x equals to what? That is actually, that is 819 plus that was 1019 Kelvin. Then you can go ahead and divide both of our 3. Divide both of our 3. We have our S to be equal to that is 1019 divided by 3. What is that? So you have what? S to be equal to 339.67 Kelvin. So that is our answer in Kelvin. Now moving to the last question I'm having here with me. So the question says, what is the temperature gradient across the copper rod of thickness 0 0.02 meter? Maintain at two temperature junction, 20 degrees C and also 80 degrees C respectively. But in this case, we are given the what? We are given the option. What is the temperature gradient across the copper rod of thickness 0 0.02 meter? Maintain at two temperature junctions. What are the two temperature junctions? We are having 20 degrees C and also the what? And also 80 degrees, 80 degrees C. Now to calculate this is actually what is actually simple. We are going to follow the same what the same procedure. Now the upper face points, uh, do we need to use upper face points in this case? I don't think so because there is a part, there is a formula for it. We have different type of formula. We have the first one is what temperature gradient equals to difference in temperature divided by what difference in length. Temperature gradient. Temperature gradient is given by the what the upper face points you subtract from what from the lower face points divided by what divided by the thickness. Then equates to what. To, to the difference in the temperatures. What are the difference in the temperature? That is the subtraction of what of the upper face point, then minus what lower face point. All the value was difference in length again, which is 0.02. You get it right. Now let's just go ahead and, and, and just do it now. So in this case, we have what you have the 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 we ask calculus for the what is the temperature gradient. Now temperature gradient which is what which is known as Tg. Tg equals what? Equals to difference difference in temperature difference in temperature all divided by what all divided by the thickness difference in length difference in length and difference is length is also the same as what as thickness she get guys so now let's just go ahead and calculate this so we are giving the temperature the two junctions of the temperature to be what junction one j1 is what that's 80 degrees c and our J2 is what 20 degrees C, right? So now let's go ahead. Temperature gradient will be equal to that will be 80 degrees C minus what 20 degrees C. All divided by what? What's the difference in length? The difference in length should be what? That's 0 point what? 0 0.02. Okay. So now in this case, what am I going to have? I'm going to have my TG to be equal to 60 divided by what? 0 point what? 0 0.02. Which is actually the same thing as um. Let me just express this as six. 0 0.0 times 10 to the power 1 divided by what this one as 2 times 10 to the power minus 2 actually right so if i should go ahead 2 goes in this tries right that's 3 times so that i will have what i will have 3 point 3 point 0 times 10 to the power this is 1 and if this is coming if this comes up that should give us um that should be plus actually that will be 1 plus 1 plus 2. Show sure that we have what we have in 3.0 times 10 is our 1 plus 2 is what is 3. That will be kilometer inverse. So that's our answer. Okay? That's our answer now. So let's just check it. What's the answer here? That means B is the answer. B is actually the answer. Can you see it now? So that's just it. Now, um, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly click on the description button now and Make sure you watch the other, the other previous conversion of the other previous videos on conversion of temperature scales. So I think I've released up to three videos now. And if you watch it, you have a better knowledge on how to convert from one scale to another. Thanks for watching.